Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. I would like to give a big up to all my subs and supporters who like, comment, and share the videos. In addition, a special big up to all those who purchased my masterpiece, my book, The N Word Is No Secret in the Service. Big up to you all. Let's cook. Okay, people, big shout out to the sub Charlie for inspiring this video here. And unfortunately, this is about a young sister by the name of Monet Newton. Monet Newton is from Santa Clarita, California, only 24 years of age. She's from California, but she lived in Glendale, Arizona. That's where she lived and worked at. And that's where this incident actually happened at. Well, she was taken up by a white American man by the name of Chase Cooper. Chase Cooper, 22 years of age. This guy, Chase Cooper, white American man, was her boyfriend. They say that Monet and Chase were in a relationship for a few months. And one day, just recently, this guy Chase just decided to get rid of her and get rid of himself. Okay? Uh, she was in a relationship with this psycho. And they don't know why he did this. Now, the sad part about this is Monet was set to graduate with a master's degree the week that this guy did this to her. According to the police, 22-year-old Chase Cooper shot and killed 24-year-old Monet Newton before turning a gun on himself. Now, this young lady, Monet Newton, she grew up, good family, Santa Clarita, California, very close to her family. She has a sister by the name of Maya who's very devastated by her death. Maya describes her sister Monet as strong, intelligent, compassionate, who had her whole life ahead of her. Her sister Maya said, everything about her life is just, it was earned. My sister was such a hard worker from the time we were little girls. She's always been the hardest worker of the bunch. She worked hard for what she had, and I think it's so terrible this person took it from her when we were supposed to be celebrating her. Now I have to watch my parents go through this. It's just so sad. Yes, it is very sad, and I believe every word. So what happened was Monet's family flew to Arizona to celebrate her graduation, to attend her graduation. She just earned a master's degree in psychology from Grand Canyon University. She wanted to be a therapist. She was working for the Phoenix Suns while going to school. You know, the Phoenix Suns, the basketball team. And uh, when she didn't show up to the airport to pick her mother up, Eventually, they went to her apartment, and they found her in there. How devastating is that? Imagine that, people. She didn't show up to the airport, so what they did was they went to her place after they eventually got a ride from the airport, and they found Monet in her apartment with this guy, Chase, both of them gone. Now, the family, being Monet's sister Maya, said, there weren't any red flags with Chase Cooper or any incidents or signs of violence, which makes what happened even more devastating and unexpected. But I got to say, people, was I there? No. Were there signs? Absolutely, there were signs that this guy was a sick nut case. OK. There were signs that this guy was a sick, uh, a sick nut case. And let me this is for the young sisters. I don't care what. Any of these old, miserable burnouts on social media tell you who are actually jealous of you, okay, because you still have your youth. I don't care what they say, okay? You have these ladies on different platforms who are old enough to be your grandmother, and being that they made bad decisions in their life, they're miserable. They're holding on to this dream of this white knight coming to save them, but it's not happening, okay? They wish they could be in your position. OK, they're very upset and sad, which is why they're constantly on social media in comments, constantly talking about black men. Now, of course, things like this can happen with a black man. We know how our communities are. But regardless of what they say. You ain't safe in the hood and you ain't safe with the peck of wood. Say it again. You ain't safe in the hood, and you ain't safe with a peck of wood. You have to be culturally aware. You have to be a proactive thinker, okay? 
And there are different mindsets that you must attach to yourself if you do decide that you're going to go out here and chase behind white guys. You don't know anything about their culture, okay? Me, personally, I think these girls are too young to be having a boyfriend, sleeping over anyway, but that's, that's me and my hard line, you know, stuff. That's a whole nother topic. But in American culture, this is taught that this is okay. This young lady was 24. Ah, I don't like her being out there by herself, period. I don't care who's around. But anyway, people, you, 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 you got to stop listening to this message. They have, they have these agents out here, these old women who are upset and they're giving these young ladies this message, okay, that they need to go and search for a white man. It's all about race. It's not about the nicest guy. It's just race. So what happens is these young ladies are going out. They don't know anything about race and culture. Not even theirs, really. And they are sitting ducks. They get tore up by these guys named Chase and Hunter and Bradley. You know what I mean? I don't know what to say, y'all. I don't know what to say. Um, your chances of ending up like this are much higher when you are under the Caucasian European hypnosis spell, which most of our people will be under. Now, the sister said that she was dating this guy for a few months and didn't see any signs. That's what's shocking. We all see this guy's a killer. Okay? He's a psycho. But these signs are often overlooked. Listen, young girls like this right here, like Monet, overlook these things with men, period. This is what young women do. This is why they always need somebody older and more stable in their business, okay? Okay? just to keep them safe. I wouldn't care who they was with. Black man, white, whatever. But in these type of situations, you have to factor in the Caucasian European hypnosis that these people are under. So when they say that there were no signs, yes, there were. Yes, there were. We get on our most forgiving behavior when we're around white people. You know what I mean? That's how it goes, y'all. This is what it is. It's different. Now you don't care if somebody draws is dirty. You know what I mean? That type of stuff. Very dangerous, people. This is very, this guy was psychotic. That's why I believe that many of our people are not ready to be around white people. They cannot decipher a good white American person from a psycho. And people, you know what I mean. There go People are going to say, oh, well, none of them are good. A good, white, a decent white American person who's not going to chop you up from a psycho. And a lot of these young black women, they are attracting the bottom of the barrel psychos. And these white guys, you know, they sit around on social media and look for these pages where, and these channels and things like that, where these white, these black women are praising white men. They, they sit back and watch it. They know what's going on. And also, people, in this story, Monet is from a place where I don't think there are any black people. So maybe that has something to do with it as well. Where she's from in California, they're pretty much in that area. Anybody that knows more about the area, get in the comments. There are no black people. Really messed up situation. What happened with her. Um, had everything going for herself. This is another story to be added to the 2024 stories of these white bums who are supposed to be so-called better, just destroying and tearing black women up. Young black women, too. Young ones, y'all. We seeing them 19, 24. Anyway, people, condolences to the family of this young lady. Get in the comments. Let me know what you know about this. Easy.